This might be my most luxurious haul yet. Let's get into it. Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. I don't think I've been as excited for a video as I am to sit down here and share with you the Diptyque City Candles. Now, if you know me and have been around here for a long time, you know how much I love Diptyque. Diptyque Candles, if you're not familiar, are some of the most luxurious candles in the world. They were created in France, and they are just beautiful. From the labels, to the wax, to the fragrances, there's something so special and luxurious about a Diptyque candle. And I have had many, many Diptyque candles in my lifetime. There's something so little that it brings me just so much joy when I light one that there's a special week in the year that make it even a little bit more special. So not only does Diptyque have their signature fragrances and they do limited editions, this is the cherry blossom that is new this year that you can only get in the spring. Hopefully it's a recurring favorite because let me tell you, it is beautiful. I lit this the day that it came in. I didn't do a haul because I only picked up the one candle, but there's something so special about a dip tea candle from the vessel, again, to the wax, to the origin story, to everything. But something a little bit more special about dip tea is every city has an exclusive. Not every city, but they're working on it. So if there's a dip tea in a city, whether it's in the U.S. or internationally, they have their exclusive candle. And you can go to that city and purchase that candle at any time unless it's out of stock. However, one week of the year, which it was only April 20th to 26th for 2023, I did not get the video because I didn't get these until literally this second. I ordered from the Vegas store. Even if I ordered online, I still wouldn't have got them in that short amount of time. But they do this every year, and maybe you're visiting one of these cities and you want to look at this video for reference. These candles are available for a short time in the boutiques and online to pick up for your enjoyment. And let me tell you, I purchased all the international collections. Now, there are three that I did not pick up. One is New York. I've talked about it on here before. I love it. It's beautiful, but I can get that anytime. It is like smoky and incense-y. And then there's Beverly Hills, which is actually how I discovered Diptyque. One of my dear friends works at, well, doesn't anymore, present, worked at the Beverly Hills store. And their exclusive was actually the first city exclusive. And it's very like lemon tree-esque. It's beautiful. And then Miami, which is like very key lime forward. And I've owned those all before and they're beautiful, but those are ones I can really pick up anytime by giving that boutique a call or visiting within the US. But I can't just call up Tokyo and order a candle and have it shipped to me. I mean, if you have a lot of money, I'm sure you can, but I can't. So this is the best. I can for one week only order the exclusives and have them. And I do have all eight of the international exclusive candles to share with you guys. Again, they are not available right now. I will leave the email to the forum shops in Las Vegas, which is where I discovered one of my favorite boutiques. I've been to a bunch in New York. They're beautiful. But something about the manager, Jennifer and Gus, she is so sweet. She is my associate. And you can't call them, but you can send them an email, place an order. They send you a pay link, secured. You pay that way, and they ship it right to you, include some little goodies. So I know a, a couple of you have placed orders through the boutique, and I know that they're super grateful for that. I do not get commission or anything from that, just so you know. It's just me sharing the Diptyque love with you. And I work retail. I know that stores need to make their sales goals, etc. So I like supporting a smaller store versus the website, even though at the end of the day, all the cash flow does go into the same pot. It's still nice to support the stores themselves. So I know that they would greatly appreciate it too. And I do believe, I do believe that it is in April every year. So definitely stay tuned. And maybe if you're in one of those stores, see if they have any remaining exclusives, because let me tell you, I did a quick 
sniff of all of these as soon as they arrived. Well, almost all of them, but I could not wait anymore. So this was a five minute little intro. Let's talk about the other goodies in the box before we dive into the exclusives. So she did give me two boxes of matches, which even the matches at Diptyque are beautiful. Everything about Diptyque is an experience. So we have the signature tissue wrapping, which I will explain in a minute. So I got two of those. And then I also got two of the mini candles. Now these are the size that are typically in the advent calendars, but they're also like gift with purchases. They're not available for sale. The first one that I was given was Bay, which is their signature. It's Bulgarian roses, black currant, and green leaves. It's beautiful. And one of these will literally fill up your entire bathroom. Even though they are so teeny, they fill up an entire bathroom. They're so strong, so beautiful. I I love Bay. It's it's their classic, it's their signature. And I was so excited to see this one in my box. Santal. I love Santal. It's sandalwood. It's not like Le Labo's sandalwood candle. It is a little bit more fresh and a little bit more crisp and like new. The Le Labo Santal to me smells a little bit more like aged sandalwood with other notes where this just smells like fresh crisp sandalwood. It'll be beautiful in my bathroom. These are the perfect little bathroom candles. So I greatly appreciate that as well as a couple other samples. And then the one thing that I picked up I knew I had to have it, was the exfoliating hand wash. So I talked about in my previous video, the softening hand wash, which I have been absolutely loving. As you can see, obsessed. It makes your hands feel so soft. I love using that, but I knew I had to have the exfoliating one. So in this haul, I did pick up the exfoliating one. So as you can see, there's some exfoliation in there, exfoliating beads. I believe they're not beads. I'm not exactly sure. Refreshing, foaming, and cleansing cleans and purifies the hands with ground olive stones, leaving the skin feeling soft. So even their hand washes are super luxurious and beautiful. But, okay, let's dive in to this beautiful box. Now, I did purchase eight candles, but they did send it over in a gift box like this. Gift to myself, and these are six of the exclusives. I mean, would you just look at that? Like, you can't even describe how beautiful that is. But they also gift wrapped two of them for me, and I'm going to um, unbox this out of camera because I wanna try to keep this as pristine as possible, but look at this. So if you order from the boutique and you ask for them to be gift wrapped for you, your app's actually going to get them three different colors. This is the Berlin candle and those are the colors of Berlin. So they fold the tissue very beautifully like that. You see the Berlin tag there with the ribbon. And then this one is the Shanghai. So we have the Shanghai colors there and then the Shanghai tag there. All right. So let me go ahead and slowly, whoops, unbox these and I'll be right back. All right, we're back and they're unboxed. I did that so carefully. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take like an empty candle box that I've had of a candle that I've already finished and saved the box. And I'm gonna rewrap it in the wrapping and display them because they're just so beautiful. So first we have Berlin and look at this packaging. Oh my gosh. So the Berlin description says, the sense of the Berlin candle transports you to the German capital's most prestigious avenue. Surrounded by the heady scent of blossoming linden trees, a powerful perfume with light honey scents. So here we have it right here. Each box is beautiful, unique. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but there's like even some like flower petals embossed in the candle and it's completely enwrapped in there. We have Diptyque Paris on the top. Beautiful. Now these do retail for $84. They are a little bit more pricey than the traditional um, city candles only because they are, you know, or the traditional candles because they are exclusive. And then there we have it in this beautiful green vessel right there. Solid white wax. Oh, this is pretty. I do have the Linden Tree scent on its own in their core line, 
which is like a lemon tree. It's very bright. It's very fresh. It's the smallest hint of, of a citrus lemon rind, but not like pledge, not like a traditional lemon candle. It is very much like a bright lemon fresh. Oh, that's beautiful. With a little hint of honey. Oh, stunning. Oh, this is so pretty. I, oh, I'm going to love all of these. I already know because I just, I love Diptyque, but you know what it's like. All right, next we have Shanghai. The scent of the Shanghai candle is closely linked to a Chinese tradition. Deliciously perfumed osmanthus flower complemented with notes of green tea like an homage to the tea ceremony. So here we have this box here. So we have the deep red background, the blue, and then gold. It looks like almost like gold lanterns. Look how beautiful that is, right? Let's open this up. Fresh. There's nothing like a fresh diptyque, let alone eight of them at once. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Ooh. I, these candles are so strong, I'm telling you, you can smell them outside of the box. So here we have a sort of like red lacquered jar. Can you see that? With the blue along there and then the white wax. Oh, this is pretty. This is like... Fresh green tea. I don't get a ton of osmanthus flower necessarily. <sighs> this is so pretty. Ooh, this is like, like I said, a fresh green tea. Okay, now I want to show you something. So it's a little bit loose in the jar, and it's supposed to be that way because you're actually able to... Let me see if I can do it on this one. There we go. So you can actually pop the jar out and give it a smell that way. Oh, it's beautiful. That green tea is fresh and clean and rich. And then you get a little bit of that sweet floral. It's like a sweet floral green tea. I know. I know this freaks people out, especially like with Bath of Body Works candles, but it's actually designed to do that. So you can get the entire heart of the fragrance when you smell in the jar rather than the top layer. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Oh, love. So that is the Shanghai. Very green tea fresh. All right. Next, we're going to dive into Tokyo. Look at that green with that copper gold. So pretty. It says, the aroma of the Tokyo candle revives the fond memory of a stroll along alleyways in the shade of Jap Japanese cypress trees where a temple diffuses notes of soothing incense. Oh, totally. Totally. You, the cypress tree, absolutely. It is a very bright, almost like a peppery spice tree with a hint of that incense, but it's not heady incense at all. It's actually really beautiful and fresh. You wouldn't expect it to be super fresh just by the incense and cypress tree, but it's a very crisp, light, peppery cypress tree with a little bit. Oh, that's beautiful. I definitely get like this peppery spice, but I really like it. I don't like spice in food, but I love spice in candles. That's really pretty. It's very light, but not, not light, like unscented light, like light, like just very subtle and beautiful. If that makes sense. All right. <sighs> Hong Kong. Look at this. Look at these. I can't believe it. The packaging is extraordinary. The Hong Kong candle is an ode to nature expressed through notes built around the famous Blacana Bohemia, accented with a floral vanilla accord. Blackenia. B-L-A-K-E-A-N-A. -A -A. I have no idea. Blackena? Blackena? It is a flower. And look at this metallic red jar with the white flowers, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is so pretty. This is a pretty perfumey, oh. oh, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful perfumey, like it says floral vanilla. Like if you walked into a woman's bedroom and that's what this smelled like, you'd say she's super sophisticated. She has lots of money. 
Absolutely. Oh, this is so pretty. This might be my favorite out of them so far. I really like this. I like the soft, subtle vanilla with these bright white florals. But not like gardenia and tuberose bright floral. Like a very just fresh, sweet white floral. Oh, that's stunning. <gasps> and that's beautiful. This vessel... I already know what I'm going to do with that whenever that jar is done. I do save the vessels, too, of my jars. So, for example, my Chen candle, I actually have little perfume samples in it. And then one of my um, my smaller fig candles, I have matches. And I actually went on Amazon and got matchstick strikers. And I actually stuck a strip on the back so I can use it as a matchstick holder. So, really love that. I think that's super fun. All right. Next, we are going to move to Pekin, which was new last year or the year before. And this is actually Beijing. And Pekin is, this candle is an homage to this ancient city, its architecture and history with an elegant and mysterious floral woody accord lifted by the aromatic notes of green tea. So that's Pekin. Oh, Oh. Okay. As weird as this sounds, I'm getting like an effervescent Coca-Cola note. But it doesn't smell like, like a cheap Coke candle. You know what I mean? Oh, this is real. And, and, and green tea. And like floral woody? Totally. I can't do these justice. I'm just sharing with you. I hope you understand. Like, I think I'm pretty good at describing fragrances, but these are so complex, it's almost hard not to. And these are like works of art. Like, look at how beautiful that is. Wow. Mysterious floral woody accord and green tea. That almost gives me like an effervescent, I'm telling you, like an effervescent green tea drink over like a bed of wood that's like smoked. It's so pretty. Wow. Yeah, this is so pretty. This, like I said, have you ever been to a uh, restaurant that has very expensive cocktails and they're like on fire and smoked and everything? I picture this cocktail is like a green tea cocktail in a smoke box, but the smoke box is full of fresh wood and flowers. So not really smoky, but it's like a shadow box. So when you open up the drink, you take the drink out. You've seen these, right? Like these really high-end drinks. That's what this reminds me of. Mm. Oh, is that pretty? This is so pretty. So that is Peckin. Next was probably the one that I was the most excited about, and that is London. It says, the scent of the London candle takes you to the heart of the Columbia Road flower market. Its unique notes of heliotrope, lilac, juniper, and hyacinth are warmed with a touch of spice. So you know why I want this, right? Lilac. I'm a sucker for anything lilac. And let me tell you, the second you open this, you can instantly smell it. Instantly. <sighs> Look at this. This is like a mirrored finish jar. So it says London on there in French. And you see all those purple flowers. Beautiful. Oh, this is... You get it all. You get the lilac. You get the heliotrope. Juniper and hyacinth. And a touch of spice. I'm not really sure what the spice I'm getting is. Oh, but that's so pretty. <sighs> hmm. Just like a bright floral. I know that's hard to just hard to explain, but if you don't like florals, you will not like this. I happen to love florals. And this probably is going to be the first one I light. This is so stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And I know this doesn't look like a lot of wax for $84. These burn forever and ever and ever. Like, ever. Like 60 plus hours. And literally, you light it for four hours, and it sends your home for the whole day. And I mean your home, not just a room. Oh, these are pretty. This is so pretty. This is the ultimate floral. If you like bright florals, you have to have that. All right, two more. Paris. Now, honestly, I wasn't super excited about this one, but it's in my top. 
It's in my talk. The Paris candle takes you to the heart of Saint Germain, an emblematic district of Parisian chic. A mysterious sheeper accord accented with a hint of lavender. And if you're not sure what a sheeper fragrance is, it's C-H-Y-P-R-E. It's essentially a fragrance based on in citrus and bergamot. Well, bergamot is citrus. Citrus and um, there's a little hint of patchouli. So this is citrus, which is, they're using bergamot here, lavender and patchouli. This is the Paris candle. It gives me very much like retro Great Gatsby vibes. Oh, it's so pretty. Now, blown away. Like, I was not expecting to love this as much as I do. It's stunning. It's beautiful citrus. That bergamot is at the heart of this fragrance. You have to love bergamot. But that sweet herbal lavender... And just the right amount of patchouli. Oh, this is beautiful. This is probably the first one I will repurchase. I could see myself having more of this always. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Oh, I love, I love. If you love bergamot citrus-based fragrances, and any of these I could think a man would enjoy, but this one, especially this or New York, New York is more straight up incense, deep, woody, spice, smoky. This is more bergamot, citrus, like body wash esque. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I know I keep saying pretty for all of them, but you can't help it. All right. Last but not least, brand new this year to the Diptyque lineup Seoul, Korea. Look at this. Look at at those hibiscus flowers, and look at those colors. It is absolutely stunning. The Soul Candle invites you on an all-evening stroll through the heart of this buzzy city, whose bright, modern architecture forms a stunning background for the idyllic blossoming of hibiscus flowers, symbols of South Korea. In this candle, the musky and subtle woody notes of hibiscus are enhanced by notes of jasmine and incense. So let's take a look at this. It is a muted lilac purple with red sole lettering and then the beautiful hibiscus flowers right there. Again, stunning. I can't. Hibiscus flowers, like beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If you're not familiar with hibiscus flowers, think of a little sweet almost paper mache-esque flower. And I know that sounds paper mache flower, but anytime I've smelled a hibiscus flower, I smell like I'm like making crafts with paper mixed with floral. I know it sounds off the wall, but totally. And then you do get the white floral of the jasmine. A little bit of that incense, just a little bit. So if you don't like smoky, I think you'll still love this. And those subtle woody notes, stunning, gorgeous, out of this world. And purple, such a beautiful color. Purple and orange are my favorite colors. And this is just stunning. <sighs> Listen, there are no words. And again, these were not gifted to me. I spent my own money on all of these. So believe me, they're worth it all. If I had to pick two favorites... Paris and Hong Kong, runner-up London. These are my three favorites, if I had to. Not that the other ones are not stunning and beautiful. These are just my favorites. So thank you guys so much for watching this little haul video. Prepare to see some more reviews as I get to burning these, although I just want to collect them because they're so beautiful. Did you pick up any diptyque candles from the city line? Which ones are your favorites? And again, I will include the email to the Las Vegas shop. If you want to order, ask for Gus. She is incredible. She would love to uh, get you guys some of your beautiful candles shipped right to you. And it is free shipping as well. So just a great, great service. Love my Vegas people and loved actually getting to meet them too. I don't remember meeting Gus necessarily. 
I don't think she was there when I was there, but I met the other team members there, and it's just, it's a beautiful shop, and I love Diptyque, hoping a Las Vegas candle comes now. I mean, there's two shops in Vegas. There's one at the Wynn Casino, and there's one in Caesars Palace, which is where I went. So, definitely check them out. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that notification bell when you subscribe, so you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world, and I love you so much. Be kind. Bye, guys.